My name is Susan Murphy. I'm a professor at the University of Michigan and I work in statistics, psychiatry, and at the Institute for Social Research. My research concerns how we might best collect data and analyze data to inform uh, the sequencing of treatments for people who are dealing with critical conditions, critical disorders. I love math. It's just, I really like math. I like how it works. I like the fact that it's, um, it's clean. I wanted very much to have some impact on real life, to be able to help people in some way, and to use mathematics, and in particular statistics, to be able to help people. The conditions I'm most interested in tend to be related to substance abuse and mental illness. In general, it's chronic conditions, so it could include as well diabetes, like adolescent diabetes, um, but mainly it's depression, schizophrenia, um, cocaine abuse. First, you want to know how can we best collect data that would inform the sequencing of treatments. So what kinds of trials or clinical trials might be designed that would help in that endeavor to figure out how to tailor a sequence of treatments. So that's where I came up with these uh, SMART trials, sequential multiple assignment randomized trials. To put everything into context, let's talk about a hypothetical person named Joe. And Joe is, uh, he has a lot of problems with drinking. The problems are so severe that it started to interfere with his work and his home life. And um, think of a cl clinician who is trying to help Joe. The clinician has at hand uh, a variety of treatments that he could provide to Joe. Which of these treatments should he try first? How long should he try that treatment? When should he give up and say it's not working anymore? And then what treatment should he provide next if the first treatment doesn't work? It was developed to answer those types of questions. The people at the MacArthur Foundation called me. I, was, I picked up the phone. I was standing up. And then she tells me about the fellow. And I just sat on the floor. I was standing up and I sat on the floor. The first thing I thought was this will this can help us form the collaborative relationships we need with clinicians and computer scientists so that we can really develop these just-in-time adaptive interventions. 